Hey guys and welcome to another miniature adventures review. Sorry about the shaky camera. I'm not using the camcorder today. I'm using my phone. And to be perfectly frank, I'm pretty excited. So this is the new Age of Sigma Soul Wars. So for those of you who don't know, Warhammer Age of Sigma is the sequel to uh, Warhammer Fantasy. Um, basically, they wanted to reboot everything and uh, start afresh. So they, they re they almost well they know they basically destroyed the old world and created new realms and that is basically what Warhammer Age of Sigma is so the first box set was um, Stormcast which are the new um, good guys I guess you could say versus Chaos and it was basically Chaos trying to take over now this is Almost like a second edition. This is second edition. I mean, we are quite past when we would normally see a second edition game. But this is Age of Sigma, second edition. So they've revamped the rules. So in the original one, there was a four-page set of rules. Um, there was a, uh, a... You could get that free. And then you, we had battalions. We had the General's Handbook that added. And then this just basically adds all of that together and released as a new box so I won't spoil anything in case you want to read all the fluff but basically Nagash the Lord of Death has been up to mischief um, and he's gone to war with Sigma so great first off great box I mean this is a big box I mean it's a hundred I paid 136 uh, it retails online for GW for a hundred um, sixty <laughs> it doesn't want to stay um, but you can probably pick it up, especially with a discount. Now, the original box um, is definitely much smaller. We can see that here. So, if I put them side by side, this one will easily fit inside there. Um, and definitely double the thickness. Now, there's a good reason for that. So, we're going to go through and we're going to see what we have. So, first off, great artwork. This is um, the Knights of Shroud. Versus the new Knight in Cantor's um, Stormcast Eternal faction. So we're going to look at the miniatures in a second. But I've taken all the Seraphim off because I don't think anyone really wants to see me opening Seraphim. And plus it's a little difficult one-handed. So here we are with the new box set. So, Gridland miniatures. So first off, complete different from the original book. Uh, the original box set, sorry is this huge tome so this says the core book so this has all the fluff for the um for the game plus the rules i believe it has the rules now the rules have gone up to 13 pages now so they've added in things like command points now i won't spoil this too much but i just want to give a quick flick through i mean look at this the artwork on this is amazing i you have to give props to Games Workshop. They certainly know how to do their uh, artwork. So here we go. This just basically recaps everything that's happened so far. All the different realms. I love that. All the different realms. All the different factions. Kind of tells you what all the factions are up to. Um, you could pause it at certain points and, and see. I won't go through all of it. Um, here we are. My favourite. The Orcs and Goblins. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ale Guzzlers. And then we get into the rules. So here are the core rules. Let's say it's 13 pages. And then we get into battle plans. Some of the war scrolls. Allegiance abilities. And then again. So the endless spells. Um, which hopefully we should be covering. Uh, once I get them. And then narrative play. And then a couple of battle plans at the end. Now this is great. So that's the core rule book from um, the box set. Now the original one came with a book this big. So this is the original one. Look at that. That is a vast difference. Now this had fluff. Had some fluff in it. But not, not a whole lot. Um, it was mainly just painting articles. Um, a little bit about the new chapters. And that was, that was pretty much it. I won't go through that. This, though, is just great. So the next book we get is I, the campaign book for this set. 
So this is going to be the Battle of uh, Glim's Forge. Hmm. So, again, this goes into all the different units that we have. Now, you'll notice there are no War Scrolls in these books. Like, the War Scrolls are not contained within it. Now, it'll tell you about the units, but it will not tell you basically any rules on it. Now, there's a reason for that, and we'll get to that in a second. So then we have the Start Here book, which is um, basically just battle plans and a few like rules so just like a getting started kind of game so here it just tells you about the stormcast eternals um it tells you about the knights of shroud legions of death and then just start playing again though great artwork i love that artwork and then we have the uh, instruction manual now i like games workshop's instructions they are very good and they've gone back to this color-coded thing. For a while here, they were doing it where you couldn't really see exactly how the model was supposed to be made. Um, and they've they've just they've they've really stepped up their game with this. So here are the castigators. I'm looking forward to those. The Celestar Ballistas. Now this is the first artillery unit for the Stormcast Eternals. And if you have the Lord Ordinator, which come in the Malign Portents box this will boost it even more i mean that that what that kind of gave us the hint that we were going to be getting um we, we were getting um artillery for the stormcast channels now I, most of these are all new models some of these we've kind of seen in the shade spa when they brought out some of the night horn parts but pretty much um yeah, this is all new model. I mean, I love this. This just looks fantastic. Now, this is the magic chapter for um, Stormcast. So up to this point, Stormcast didn't really have magic. Um, they, you could pair with say the uh, Free Guild and the, and the the Arcana Arcana Magic uh, P, uh, Wizards basically. But other than that, they didn't really have magic. So here we are, here's the core rules. So you've got the core rules in here, and then the core rules in here. So, you kind of keep this for collector and then play this on the, the game. But yeah, 13 pages, I mean that's just a few extra bits. But there we go. 13 pages of rules. They streamlined a lot of the spells. I know that they changed um, how the uh, Arcane Bolt works and how Mystic Shield works. Um, we'll be going into that, the rules difference later on um we're also going to go into the um we're going to have an introductory play gameplay to it and just an in-depth look into this book so i just want to show this first this is the artwork that is even in the box i mean they really have stepped up the game this really is the ultimate um age of sigma box so war scroll cards now you may have seen in our video for the um, Gloomswipe Gits, they released uh, War Scroll cards. They kind of took a page out of the Warhammer Quest book. These are the same size as the Warhammer Quest um, cards. And I, I just love that idea. I love that they are that unique. Now, this is the Stormgast Eternal. So we have the Night Cantor. Great artwork. And then... The rules on the back. We have the Evocators. I'm sure I'm probably pronouncing these wrong, but I think it's fantasy. You can pronounce them pretty much how you want. Sequidors. Again, you can pause the video so that you can, if you wanted to see their their stats. Um, I'm not going to go through all that. I will do in another video. I think I'll do a an army profile of each one. So there's the Castigators. The Celest uh, Celestar Ballista. Now this is, I will say on this, this is a new one. In, in Old Age of Fantasy and even almost in the beginning of uh, Warhammer Age of Sigma when they brought out War Scrolls. If you had like the Great Cannon for the Free Guild or the Empire. The models were, were also given life points, uh, health points, so wounds. Um, so you, you could almost attack the people. 
and the less people it had, the less it could fire. They've kind of gone away with that with this. This literally just has seven wounds, which includes all the people. Um, and then we have the Lord Arcanum, which, you know, definitely requires a double spread. Now, and the other thing they've done is um, they've kind of just streamlined some rules and then added others. Like, there's now command points, which I think they added in the General's Handbook uh, 2017. But now it's pretty much part of the core game. Whereas before, you, it's optional if you use the General's Handbook. You don't have to actually use it, but um, you can do. So here's the Chain Rouse Ports. Again, great models. Glaze Wraith Stalkers. Rain, Grimhast Reapers. I love these. Spirit Torments. Look at that. These definitely uh, will require the. Uh, will not necessarily require. Will benefit from the uh, technical paints that they've released. Lord Executioner. Let's put that on there. Guardian Souls. That's a great model. And then the Niger Shrouds. Now, he was released with the Malign Portion set. And I do believe you can use him for both. Um, yeah, he's great. So, I know you all are busting. Come on, go. We want to see the miniatures. Well, honestly, me too. So, let's crack them open and let's see. So, again, they come in this nice tray. Nice and separated. Um, which uh, again, I like it full kind of can, um, organized very well. Just get that to go like that. There we go. Bases gotta have a lot of bases. Wow, look at all of this plastic crack. That's a uh, model's term for you know, drugs. We, we like, uh, we're addicted to this stuff. Look at that. So, this is all... Whoa! <laughs> That's good. Okay. So, again, we're getting to Games Workshop's um, quality. Look at that. That is beautiful. We're going to take a look at a couple of the Stormcast parts. Look at that. I really can't wait to build these. All the easy to build kits. Now I do believe, um, and I'll, I'll look at the army profile when we uh, get to it, but I do believe that both sides are not actually tournament official, in that they, uh, the unit sizes are wrong, but um, honestly, we here at Minch Adventures, we will play however it comes. I mean, these are just great. Look at that. So, my thoughts are... On the surface, it's a, a great a great game. Um, loving the miniatures, loving the bases, and I love the fluff. Now, I will give an in-depth review once I've gone through and checked everything and read through all the books, and then we can have a nice, honest review. But, I mean, on the surface, I, I look at this. This just sums it up. I mean, this is a great game so if you haven't already pick up soul wars it's a great starter game for games workshops age of sigma it's great um collector's box anyway even if you have got age of sigma i mean the book itself this book is worth is about 40 bucks um each of the units in there are probably 30 40 bucks you're easily looking at about the 300, maybe 400 bucks mark, just to kind of get this. Um, so it's definitely worth getting Age of Sigma Soul Wars. So that's all of us from Miniature Adventures. Have a great day. Um, please like and subscribe if you you know like this video, and we'll definitely be having a whole feature on this game um, as and when we get to each of the bits. So. You all have a great day, and we'll see you later. Thank you. Bye.